this RFC jersey here at the close of day one of the Mileka 7 sponsored by Guinness Uganda which is sponsoring this series that has been called the Guinness 7 series. We are joined by Ebnire Nyombi, the spokesperson for Makere Impis and the tournament director Mr. Robert Bwali. Quickly we shall ask Mr. Robert Bwali to give us the lineup for tomorrow's games beginning with the Challenge Cup quarterfinals and the main cup quarterfinals. Uh, uh, th th thank you very much, uh, uh, all of you, and, and thanks for the good job. So quarterfinals is split into, th into two groups. We have the Challenge quarterfinals and the main cup. So Challenge quarterfinal one will be S3, which has been Rams, uh, against uh, D4, which is Rams 2, so that is a derby. And um, uh, quarterfinal two will be C3, which is Rhinos, against uh, B4, which is Jaguars. And then we shall have uh, quarterfinals three of the Challenge Cup, which is D3, which is Stallions, against A4, which is Django. And then the final quarter or quarter four of the Challenge Cup will have B3, which is Sailors, against uh, C4, which is the Chisubi Pacers. Then we we'll go through straight into the main cup quarterfinal, which is quarterfinal one, we'll have A1, which is Cops, the defending champions, against D2, which is Mongas. Then we shall have quarterfinal two as C1, Heathens, against B2, which is Impis. Then we shall have D1, which is Buffaloes, against Warriors, which is A2, as quarterfinal three. And then the final quarterfinal will be the, the Stanbic Black Pirates, which have emerged B1, against Ginger Hippos, which are C2. Right. Thank you very much, Mr. Bwali. We understand you have uh, quite a busy day. You have had a busy day and you still, your, bit, your day is still going on. So we shall ask, we shall thank you very much for joining us. And then we'll ask, we'll, uh, we'll perhaps, let you go. We'll pass, let you go. Before you let him go, uh, I'm interested in knowing after, especially the main cup, uh, how is the schedule for heading into the semi-finals? We'll go now go into classification. We'll have the 13th playoff, then the challenge trophy. Uh, semi-finals then we shall go to fifth place off then the main cup semi-finals then 13th 14th then challenge final then uh fifth sixth playoff then the bronze medal match and the main cup final so we have games lined up up to 4 uh, pm tomorrow it promises to be an even more exciting day as it was today and we hope that the weather will be kind to us as it has been today clear and bright skies uh, clear, clear skies and a bright sunny day that hasn't been characterized by the rain as we had seen the previous day. Most definitely. And maybe from uh, Mr. Bali, maybe he could tell us, um, as the tournament organizer, of course, we cannot, we cannot overlook the fact that it has been crazy pulling this circuit off. Uh, we managed to pull this off in a very short time and credit to Uganda Rugby Union. So maybe he can tell us what stood out for him today, what is something that you remember about Mileke Sevens that the legends live among us? What really stood out is, is, is when we had a 16-team tournament, we've seen new teams coming. Yeah. Entebbe Jaguars, Django, we have the stadiums. And you saw, my highlight is when Jaguars was about to edge Makerele. It was the closest of the game. Everyone always it, wants Impis to it, lose. It shows that the game is growing. When we expand to 16 teams, we bring in more people. And the young lads of of Rams to putting up a very good show, Django from Entebbe, second side of Monga. So to me, it's the development side, because now we have competition, we've opened it to more teams, and the game is growing. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Bwali, and uh, we hope to see you tomorrow again. Thank and you, Robert. Uh, we look forward to better action Mr. tomorrow. Mr. Nyombi, as we have a uh, conversation about the day, we'll be joined by Mr. Fudribo, who is the chairperson oh, yeah. of the Mileke 7 right, today. Right, right here where um, First of all, before, before Mr. Fudribo comes, I have to say, honest. This is the smartest I've ever seen you. <laughs> Thank you very You're much. You're wearing the, the, the right shirt for every occasion. <laughs> I'll be yes. sure to wear my uh, team's shirt next weekend. You'll so not be I'm as smart that time. <laughs> <for> that <occasion>. <laughs> um, <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Fudribo. Ah, Over um, to you, yeah, Ernest. We, we've been told by Mr. Bali that the most exciting bit for him today was the Jaguars. And for me as well, because they came close to defeating a team whose shirt I chose to wear. And I'm thinking I could have been the cause of the bad luck, but no thanks, right? <laughs> Uh, what has been your standout moment in today's event? I, I, I think for starters, uh, when, when you see uh, the, the reason behind organizing of the, of the Mileka Sevens, it's more of an emotional 
of a, a personal type of uh, of seven. So it's not your ordinary type of sevens tournament whereby people just come and compete for the sake of it. There's a lot of personal attachment to it for us as warriors individually, but also as, as rugby as a fraternity, there's a lot of uh, attachment to the person of Bileke, who, of who he was. Uh, and it's been an exciting, very, very exciting uh, first day uh, of the Mileke Sevens uh, circuit. Uh, we, we really appreciate Guinness for the support that they've given us and, and Coca-Cola, of course, with the, with through the, the, the uh, Renzori uh, water uh, as well. I think it's been exciting. We've seen almost upsets that have that happened. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, yes, we've seen an almost beautiful try, an almost beautiful try, I think, which was cancelled, saying it was, yes. Uh, and then there was a try that was disco, uh, disallowed because uh, Red, uh, Gabriel Arredo did one of those things of his and they said, oh, it was yeah. a forward pass in the try line whereby he could have just dotted down. I, 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 mean, I, I mean, well, <laughs> it's been an, an exciting day and I think it sets up the, the bar properly for, for the finale uh, uh, tomorrow. So I, I'm, I'm very, very... Uh, pleased for today um, you mentioned where you start with and that's the reason why we are having this conversation with you the Mileke Sevens is an emotional tournament not just for warriors but for rugby in general and with the theme <laughs> look at that young man passing in front of the camera set <laughs> and uh, it's the it's the <laughs> so the theme the the emotion that this event carries with it uh, would like you to Share with us what was the inspiration on having this theme of legends live among us. I, I think for us, um, maybe and previously, I think in the general perception of, of life of people is, oh, you you celebrate people while they were gone. Um, at Warriors, we believe that Ababugo go galiango ocha galaba, you still see it, yeah. I would like a Gumere Nyumbi, who's who's that's his that's his language. Would like you to translate that for us, please. <laughs> given us condolences mm. and warriors by saying it means instead of waiting, waiting for condolences when you're dead better you get them when you're still alive so we're giving our people their flowers when they can still smell them uh, hundred a hundred and a hundred percent you, went, you yeah. went to the right schools mr I, 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 I can tell you um the day we held the first edition of the beleke sevens uh papa who is patrick arredo beleke he, he normally drinks uganda waraji premium but on that day when we celebrated him, he was very excited. He said, guys, today I'm not drinking premium. I'm going to drink double black. So we had to find a way to actually get him a double black. Yeah? Here at Legends and for, for people who have been uh, here. You Mr. Can Food Dribble, let me just cut you short there. Uh, this is a shout out to Uganda Waraji and uh, Johnny Walker Double Black. Please join the noble cause started by Genus. And please support rugby in Uganda. You can carry on. We enjoyed, uh, when we brought him the double black, he was like, come and sit and enjoy this drink with me. I can promise you that memory will live for me for the rest of my life. So this for me is personal. I'll do everything to make sure it happens and it is the best way organized. As you've seen from the first edition, we've always set the standard for the best seven circuit that has been held and organized, uh, I think, throughout any of the circuits. We, we've done our media accreditations way before time yeah the games have all happened we've not had any walkovers all the teams are present and we really really appreciate all the teams for turning up and for an exciting tournament and we look forward to a very exciting finale and for the legends that are living among us so we need to be able to celebrate people while they are still here for the for the for the for the for the, for the, for the love of the things that they have done i mean you when you see someone has done something good appreciate them while they can still be able to say oh yes uh we've been appreciated kawo has done of course a very good job in broadcasting uh, uh rugby and sports generally in uganda and and it's it's been a, fre a breath of fresh air for for rugby and sport in uganda and we need to be able to appreciate such contributions by entities by individuals and that is what we aim to achieve as warriors not only in the second edition we're looking forward to many many other editions uh, to come for many more years uh, speaking about this second edition these legends who are living amongst us we know that tomorrow is going to be the finale of the Mileka sevens but off the rugby away from the action of the boys putting their bodies on the line who are these legends living amongst us that we are going to be celebrating well to be honest we can't exhaust all the legends in one single goal so what we decided to do is the ones that came 
top of our minds quickly and within the span of time that was accorded for us to prepare, we managed to recognize a few of the legends. Um, I think I'll mention a few of them. Uh, Alan Musoke, who we know won a uh, car with uh, in yes, 2007. I mean, I, mean, I mean, who doesn't know Alan Musoke? The, 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 that winger. Yeah? yeah, I mean, the number of tries is scored. I mean, Helen uh, Buteme, she, she, the, the, the contributions she's had to rugby and the ladies' game, especially in the, in the growth of the, la the ladies' sports, has been tremendous. We need to be able to recognize that and recognize the contribution. Of course, there are families that have stood out. The Mudola family, Fredo, uh, Timo, uh, Charlotte. I mean, those are people that we know that are... That are names that are, are off our fingertips. Of course, the Musoke is in rhinos. I mean, it reached the time they were holding rhinos to keep it. I know all rugby teams, by the way, sincerely, they have a lot of challenges. But for someone to stand up and hold a team together and keep it afloat, yeah, it's, it's a comm it, we need to commend the efforts that these people put towards um, towards 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 supporting uh, these teams and and the contribution does not only stop in the teams but it spreads down to the communities as well so and guinness i think with their mantra of being able to reach shining your brightness I, I think it resonates very well with what we are trying to what we're trying to celebrate uh with meleka sevens uh, speaking of celebrations at meleka sevens i believe that the family that will get that will feel happiest in these celebrations or celebrating the legends that live among us that is the meleka sevens and today we've been graced by the presence of mama aredo with uh, Madame Teddy uh, from morning. She actually drove here herself. You didn't believe it because all the boys, Joseph Erasmus and uh, Gabriel, were on pitch, yeah. were we, here they've, already. They've, they've been called the Barretts of Uganda, two backliners <laughs> and a scrummer. <laughs> and a scrummer. Pretty so much close. They've been here, but then would like to, you know, you tell us more about what this means, especially for Mama, on having such an event. That with her sons on pitch and then with her family and the contribution they oh yeah and there's school. also another generation in uh, adela redo that's coming up in incidentally even before before we started this all uh we do we started the whole meleke series uh whenever warriors would always play uh cobs they there was an aura of uh, of you know fanfare of okay who in the family is going to be the the, the winner i know cobs are stand out almost 100 percent uh, winners of uh, the engagements, yeah, but it sets a to there's a tone that has been created and excitement within the family, within the rugby fraternity. Uh, I remember one game um, between Warriors and Heathens uh, and, and Cobb, sorry, whereby Erasmus broke a line, and the only person ahead of him was uh, was was Joseph Aredo, and in my mind I was thinking. What is he going to do? Is he going to go through the brother or is he going to look at Papa who was seated far at the scoreboard and say, Will I be able to go back to that house after this game? <laughs> and he chose the late and, and I chose the letter. <laughs> Incidentally, I, I think he ended up passing the ball uh, where there was no one who, and and I'm like blood was thicker well, than blood was, uh, was, was thicker than the tries and there was <laughs> so uh, yeah I think it's, it's it's an exciting time to 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 host the sevens. It's an exciting time to celebrate uh the families and it's, a, it's an exciting time to have mama always here to i know it's it's very emotional for her by the way it's not an easy task for for her it's emotional for all of us um i think looking back at the pictures of the first circuit it, it it's it's very very i can tell you it's it's a, it's a hard moment for us for some of us papa was like our father he was like a mentor he was there for us yeah and and not for me only but for a number of uh, a number of other people so but we are thankful we are really, really thankful that we have such people in our lives that we can count on. And we need to be thankful as a fraternity, as, as a rugby community, as a community. We need to be thankful and we need to be able to appreciate these people who are here with us now. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Fodribo. Uh, yes, uh, you have, of course, emotions in it, uh, performances in it. You're a warrior's man, spoken warrior's man everywhere. A hundred percent. And Warriors is into the finales day tomorrow. Yes. So maybe you could just share with us a few of your expectations with bias and without bias. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I think from a biased point of view, um, we hope we can go as far as we can uh, into the into the circuit. I mean, there, there have been teams that are that are excellent. Uh, I mean, Cobbs has shown what they're capable of. Uh, Heathens has, has put up their hand as well. Uh, Pirates have shown their hand as well. Um, and then Warriors, of course, we, we are in there. Uh, we're in the, into the main cup uh, quarterfinals 
Uh, but we'll take it one game at a time. We play Buffaloes tomorrow, so we'll we'll see how that game goes. But we will just try and go as far as we can. But the, the the best thing is rugby wins at the end of the day, and the, the rugby wins, and the community the community wins, the association wins, the the partnerships we've created uh, really wins, and that is the essence that Mileke created, and that is the legacy that we hoped we can we, we can carry forward. Of course, w with recognizing the other uh, legends that are living among us, which is the theme for 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 this year's Mileke Sevens. I couldn't have said it any better the way Mr. Fudribo has said it, and. Uh... <laughs> the Impis agenda continues to go strong <laughs> in this post <laughs> review show. But uh, we'll, thank you very much, Mr. Fudribo. We'll, yeah, we'll let you go and uh, have a rest and we look forward to tomorrow. Thank you very much and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Well. Uh, thank you very much. Mr. Nyombi, closing uh, this session, what have been your top three moments for the day? I would like to go first. My top moment for today, with, <laughs> without a doubt, my number one moment today was that close. When Impis snatched victory from the jaws of defeat, <laughs> the what, what, what a game! What, what a day these boys have had, especially the Jaguars. I think Jaguars have been the standout team today, by far, for all the teams, for all the sixteen teams that have performed today. Uh, they may not have won a game; they lost all their group games, but I'm pretty sure they won themselves a number of fans. Uh, they won themselves a reputation. And my standout player was uh, Abel Alele. He's, he's, he turns out for the Jaguars outfit. And just like the Jaguars from Argentina, they are they're the surprise outfit today. They performed excellently. They played good rugby and they only lost painfully each of their games, maybe apart from the Pirates one, expected because the Pirates is pretty much the national team. But they did very, very well. They were my best team too. I think they were my best team as well. But now there's that one moment I think that caught everyone's eye. We know Jacob Bochen has been a rising, a rising star. He's a child. he's like a cannonball running all around the place. And that try that he scored against the Heathens, leaving Seven River for dead and then taking the national team speed star Noba Tokeni. That was a beautiful try, wasn't it? Pretty much, um those are things you'd be you are very lucky to see with the naked eye. I'm um, pretty sure even the people who are wearing specs today enjoyed that moment. We all thought that the tackle by Lawrence Sebeliba was going to stop the man. But Jacob Bochen, even from uh, his team manager, uh, David Spencer, uh, he knew that it was going to be a chance day to shine and he did not disappoint even once. He scored a try in every game he played and the way, the way Sebeliba just bounced off him and Okenyi, who was supposed to be the superstar of this event, could not stop the guy and Oche Ochen was right over the whitewash, I think very very well deserved i i think it, it takes all the plaudits that have been given to him today yeah that's that's a very, that's a very good description of uh, how this moment went down but then one more thing so those are the two things for you but then what's that one more thing that stood up for you today i would like to ask that it is not make in this is try at the death against uh, an a pending loss against the jaguars yeah uh the moment that stood out for me is uh maybe not a moment but the player it was Michael Okorach. Um, we've seen Michael Okorach for over a decade now playing for Uganda and Heathens in both 7s and 15s set up relentlessly. And today we've seen that the age has caught up with him, but the quality of the player has not uh, waned at all. You could see that he did not do too much. He was just receiving the ball at the right time, offloading, no hits, no runs, just doing the bare minimum that was enough. And he always at every point put his team on the front foot and he managed to get the heathens into the top spot that they were in. So it really stood out for me. I really appreciate and very, I'm very glad that I saw him perform the way he did today. Since we've been speaking some English today, I think you should let me say that new brooms sweep clean, but old brooms, no old corners. And old Mr. Corners, Michael Okoraj is a, a good old broom because he knows how to play sevens especially against teams that are not used to this standard of rugby um yeah, yeah, just, just before you close uh, about the new brooms i would want to pick your mind which are some of those new brooms in the seven setup that you've seen mine was uh, patrick okello of events i'd want to hear yours i think i will need uh, another day for tomorrow to make my judgment on this and uh, with all the fixtures that we've been given today by mr boily and the emotion that has been described by mr fudribo would like to say that please join us tomorrow here on kaoro sports for day two 
of Mileke Sevens, which is the first round of the Guinness Seven Series, of the 2021 Guinness Seven Series, here on Kawa Sports. We'll be seeing you tomorrow, starting at 8 a.m., all the way from sunrise up to sunset. And, uh, don't don't forget that while you come here to watch the games at Legends, uh, if you have the accreditation or you're watching from home, don't forget that the favorite beer uh, is a stout, and the only stout we know is Guinness, which is made of more and Black Shine's greatest. All right, well said. One more thing just before we leave um, here at Legends Rugby Grounds. The facility is doing COVID-19 vaccination, so if you've not been vaccinated, please come and get your first shot. Or if you've not if, if you've not completed your dosage, please come here and you will be able to complete your dose for the COVID-19 vaccination. But most importantly, celebrating the le legends that live among us, we have Coach Robert Seguia that is fighting for his life, is battling cancer, and there's a blood donation drive that is happening at Nakasero Hospital, right? Yes, make sure that uh, when you do it, you take a picture and post it on your social media it may encourage someone else to do the same robert seguia has served uganda rugby as a player in more than one position as a coach in more than one team and the national team so please make sure you give him the blood he needs this he needs the fight and we are all in this for him come through for robert sogi one pint of blood for sogi save his life let's have the country and let's have rugby as we know how to do best right i think that should be it for today we'll link up tomorrow i think i'll be in a more beautiful jersey uh, supporting my one of the local teams here on the scene well we'll see about the beauty all right thank you very much and uh, see you <laughs>